All right, I'm gonna take a minute here to talk a little bit about the uh, kinematics tune. You can see the device right here on the, uh, the body of this New Balance shoe. Um, it is a, a new wearable uh, from kinematics and its focus is uh, ground striking, heel striking, and uh, most of all ground contact time, um, which is important if we're looking at um, translating um, kind of ground contact into um, kind of efficient cadence and increasing speed via increased cadence. Um, if you want to take a quick look inside here, you can see how the unit gets wired together. Um, it wires actually into a footbed that sits just underneath your existing footbed. Um, in terms of fit and feel, honestly, it feels exactly the same as normal. And the idea being as you hit, right, as you land and you hit, and you continue to land, it's sensing that and detecting it. The on and off is really simple. Um, it's a simple turn of the item um, to remove it. So you turn it, take it off. It's very small, W1 on both feet. This then hooks into a, an additional unit for charging, um, but the, so far the charging lasts for quite a while. Um, again, pop it on, turn it, and it's in place. Very simple. Um, in terms of use in stride, you don't even notice it's on your foot. Um, you can uh, basically just go as you normally would and at the end uh, get some great valuable data from it. Uh, it connects via Bluetooth to its app. Uh, you can also see it doesn't change the profile much of the shoe. Um, it also doesn't kind of impact or create a pinch point in there as well. Um, so yeah, it, it delivers some great data. Um, I'll do a, another little short piece where you can see it kind of in run. Um, but for the most part, uh, it's just really interesting. It's nice to see kind of new compelling data around um, uh, kind of foot mechanics. And um, for me in particular, as someone who had transitioned from kind of a heel striker into more of a, a four to kind of midfoot striker, uh, I actually found myself, the more tired my legs get, the more I start landing kind of backwards again. Um, different shoe types seem to affect the data a little bit more, but either way, it does help you refine it a bit in terms of your, your stride. And I do find myself kind of transitioning now more, more naturally to the mid and not landing so much on my heel. Um, Cadence-wise is really interesting, and that's nice because once you start looking at that data, you get some really clean ideas around kind of how you can improve performance and not necessarily lengthen your stride, but just increase kind of how fast your foot is hitting the ground, um, and you'll see your pace increase because of that. So um, it's not just looking at the pace number, but really how often that foot hits the ground. Um, so great. It's a great tool. Um, so far, so good. And uh, look forward to uh, showing you a little more in run. All right, so here's a, a real quick look at the app. It's, it's super simple in terms of how it works. If you want to start a run, you tap new run. Um, it, it looks for the device in this case. Uh, I obviously have the right shoe here, um, but it's found it, detects it, it then looks for, uh, it looks at the other device, and then this switches to a run um, and has your typical GPS map. Um, so you don't necessarily need to run with your watch. Um, I find I still do that and just use this data in addition to something like my Garmin or TomTom. Uh, if you want to see historical runs, you can tap your way in, find a run, and get the run report. Okay, distance, mileage, speed. Then it gets into the interesting stuff. Cadence, um, how long my steps currently are. And then it breaks it down across the entire run. Um, and you can kind of browse through it. How did I progress as I moved along? Green indicating better performance, um, obviously, uh, than the orange. Um, you can see as we move down into something like heel striking, um, there's various times when I'm obviously hitting more of my heel on my right foot than my left foot. Um, I tend to tend to hit more of my right foot most of the time. Um, and my ground contact on the left is faster than my right. So uh, for some reason, I tend to spend a little more time landing on the heel of my right foot. Uh, it could be around the fact uh, my right leg is dominant and a little stronger. And so um, I kind of get off my left quicker and spend more time allowing my right to push me. So that's something I can definitely translate into um, something tangible that I can use. So, interesting data, as I said. Four miles in or so, I uh, just had a chance to take a look at tune data midstream and uh, noticed a little bit more heel striking than I'd like. Really solid cadence numbers though, so pace feels good and I'm keeping that up. Uh, just need to focus more on falling a little more on the front of my foot, so that'll be the focus for the next half of the run. Just finished a seven mile run at a 732 pace. These, the tune showed some really interesting data. Ground contact time was high. Um, my heel contact time was a lot better. I still was heel striking a bit more on my right side, uh, which either means 
my hip might be a little tight. Uh, it's usually been the cause of my issues over there in the past, so I can shake that out a little bit. Um, but overall, pretty strong, good pace, felt good. Um, let's keep up that next time. Um, the other interesting thing I noticed is uh, up and down hills, you can really see where your footfall is, so you can kind of watch that progression as you tend to land more on your heel on the downhills and, and go off on your toes a little more on the uphills. So super interesting data, love looking at it. Um, makes for some compelling um, run stories. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see it kind of evolve a little bit.